Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Friday Phoenix. In our top story this week, the New York Attorney General announced that an investigation into Governor Andrew Cuomo found that he sexually harassed 11 women. 11! He's the governor of one of the most populated states in the U.S., which you think would keep him pretty busy, but he still managed to find time to sexually harass 11 different women. You know, in today's hustle and bustle, it can be hard to find time to do the things that you love, and what Andrew Cuomo loves is making women very uncomfortable. But he managed to put aside his busy schedule and create a space for his favorite hobby, which again, is traumatizing women who work with him. And not just once, but over and over again. You have to admire that kind of dedication to nurturing your own needs. And apparently what Andrew Cuomo needs is to treat women like objects in order to make himself feel more powerful because even though he's in a position of power, he's actually an incredibly fucked up person. Cuomo is remaining defiant even as the leader of the free world called on him to resign with just about every other being on the planet. Humans, praying mantises, sentient robots that are secretly plotting our future demise, all of them unanimously agree that Andrew Cuomo should resign, but he's staying strong in a move that I'm sure will work out great for him in the end. Oh, you don't want to resign? Okie dokie, end of story, let's move on. Truly a great strategy. And in other poor self-control news this week, an unruly passenger on a Frontier Airlines flight was duct taped to his seat by his fellow passengers after groping and fighting with flight attendants. At one point, he yelled out that his parents were worth $2 million, as if that was at all relevant. With regard to him being duct taped to his seat, I have to say that I love it. I think his fellow passengers are geniuses, and I wonder what they're up to this weekend because I have a very long list of people that I'd love to see duct taped to an airplane seat. Is it wrong for me to want that? And finally this week, the Coast Guard announced that they were offloading 26 metric tons of coke and marijuana in Florida that has an estimated street value of $1.4 billion. It's a heady time in Florida as they're currently generating one out of every five cases of coronavirus nationally. No word yet on if the bundle of drugs that is being dropped off will be passed out to Floridians to help them make better decisions about their health, but at this point it couldn't hurt, so here's to a summer snowstorm in the Sunshine State. That wraps up this week's episode of the Friday Phoenix. Join us next week because as we all know, there's always more news to peruse.